Welcome back to another episode of Supermarket Simulator. They added the option to customize your market store. So I will be doing that. I can finally name it not my supermarket. It can finally be called the Oboe Mart. I haven't played this in like a month because it was getting kind of boring because I couldn't change the yellow wallpaper, but now I can change the yellow wallpaper. Got that cashiers. The Susu Corner is going well. We can customize the Susu Shrine. It's very important. Have $1,000 in the budget. Gonna go ahead and blow that all on fun decorations and not pay the employees paints. What paint do we want? $200 for one paint? That better cover the whole wall. That better be a color you can infinitely hot swap to. There's a good one. There's there's like a slightly more uh, like pukish disgusting yellow. That's not bad. Yeah, I could make it oboe orange. I could try to make it Walmart though. Walmart has like a blue wall. They have blue wall and they have like cool gray wall. Let's get Walmart blue. Walmart blue is important, I think. And like a cool gray. You know, that'll be good for the paints. And then for the for the floor, got to go with that. Uh, which one's the most Walmart floor? I think that one, right? That one's the most Walmart floor. The white speckled pattern. It's definitely pretty Walmart core. We're going with that one. And then there is a way to name the store, which is in a management customization. Yeah, here we go. All oh, it costs money to name the store. Worth it. Welcome to Obo Mart. What's that store called? I can't even read the sign. Mr. Beast, I made the most insane store. I'm a text visualizer. Let's see, what do we want? I kind of think having the text be really tall and skinny is funny. That's kind of hilarious, right? That's kind of good. Can I make it not Mr. Beast font? That's what I don't want. I don't want the Mr. Beast font. Make it oboe orange. We'll make it oboe orange, but it'll still be on a blue background for Walmart. Finally, my Walmart dreams. I can't afford to change the entrance position right now, but soon. Soon I will be able to. Ah, my flooring. All right, how much flooring? Oh, no, it's like a box. It's not going to be infinite. Okay, we'll start with the Susu Corner. The Susu Corner deserves the most flooring of all. I can't reach that one back. Oh, it's gonna let me do it. Nice. <laughs> be sure to be sure to put it right there where you can't see it at all. Perfect. Okay, well now I have something to grind for, so now I'm happy. Now I'm a happy camper. Had to grind to make my store look just like Walmart. Can you cover a certain number of panels then? Is that how you work? Paint. Paint. It didn't do anything. There's no paint in the bucket. Did I get scammed? There's no paint in there. Where did my paint get? It's gone. I think I got scammed. Oh, it's hold. Okay, gotcha. So is this infinite? This might be infinite. Yeah, let's do, let's do a wall of the same color. Uh, no, it's not. No, it's not the same color. What are you talking about, game? Oh, it was that panel. Okay. Let's do the corners are white. The Walmart corners can be white. And then the middle walls can be blue. I wonder how much paint this gives me. I wonder how much I get to work with here. It might be infinite because I don't see like a... I also like a bucket of paint going down. There's no paint in the bucket. Okay, well, I was wrong. Let me use the blue paint. This better be blue paint. Yeah, oh, dude. Oh, this is Walmart. Can you paint the ceiling? Ah, no, the ceiling's the same. This is beautiful. <laughs> Looks just like Walmart. Just like Mama used to make. Oh yeah, it's looking. Oh, dude, yeah, yeah. All right, we got it. We got to sell our products, sell our goods, open for business. 
And also with this new update, the stockers will automatically stock stuff that you order, which is huge. But I'm kind of uh, poor right now. Well, can they can they stock these? I have a bunch of stuff in the stock room. Will they just stock that? Oh, they will. So the storeroom is useless now. <laughs> the storeroom is useless because they... <laughs> Guys, can you use the storeroom, please? Use the storeroom, not the curb. But I got to go into the... Oh, wait, they, they put it in the storeroom. He took it to the storeroom. Go stock it on the shelves. There's got to be something we're out of, right? We can't... Our yogurt can't be filled. Yeah, okay. So we, we have no yogurt. So now if I put the yogurt there, will you do it? Will you go stock the yogurt shelf? It looks like he's just going to put the yogurt... Yeah, he's just putting the yogurt in storage. Dude, you got to stock the shelves. Why aren't they stocking? They're not doing their only job. Their only job is to stock, and they're not doing it. Did the stocking AI break? Oh, there they go. Okay, these two are working. What are you two doing, slackers? There's more things that need to be stocked. Our store has nothing. We're very thinly stocked on very... We got no bags of potatoes. I couldn't find Panzati pasta. Shut up. Stupid union mandated break. This this also added negotiating with the union as a new mini game. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm thinking that you don't get any breaks. Could be good. All right, what don't I have? I don't care. Order it all. I'm so light on cash, I can't do my usual strat of ordering everything. All right, I ordered the bottom six. Remember that. Somebody remember that. Bottom six. Susu break union rules. Yeah, the union has declared, but get Susu. Where's my light switch? Illuminate the holy Susu kingdom. Yeah, there we go. Oh, the beauty of Susu. The beauty of Susu is transcendental and overwhelming. And the lag, which this amount of customers places in my store, is truly beautiful. You think the Walmart, like, anti-thief, like, anti-theft face detection system gets lagged when too many people walk in the store at the same time? I think if, like, 20 people go in at the same time, they're like, oh, crap. Ah, uh, crap. We can't run our face ID on these guys. Moonlight, thank you, Moonlight, for gifting out a sub to the most swood. Oh, you want this? You can have it. You can have the water bottle. Go ahead, take it. It's fine. The most swood you can be... Swood. Swood. Food. S food that you eat with a sword is called swood. Swood would be... He's a swood dude. Ah, you see that guy? He's a swood... Oh, yeah, there we go, there we go. You call somebody a swood dude, they act confused. Then you act like they're an idiot for not knowing what swood means. Yeah, he's swood. What? Yeah, I said he's a swood dude. I don't... What, what do you mean? What, what do you mean what do I mean? He's a, he's a swood dude. Yeah, I don't... I haven't heard that expression. You haven't heard swood dude? Come on, you have to have heard swood. You don't... You really don't know swood? Oh, yeah, you know what? Yeah, I think I think I do. I think I do. Oh, you do? Okay, so you have heard it. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, explain it then. What? Explain it. What does swood mean? You claim to be the expert on all things swood, so let's hear it. Let's hear the explanation, please. Swood is S-tier wood. Yeah, it's really good wood. Some quality lumber. Okay, let's buy some more. One, two, three, four. I declare a bidding war. Five, six, seven, eight. Hate shopping on eBay. Oh, there's still a max cart limit? Why is that still in the game? I thought they made this game good, you guys, but it turns out this game sucks. Why is there an order limit? That that would be like one variable to change, right? Keep it on the serial, I guess. I definitely know everything about game programming, having never done it before in my life. But how hard can it be to update the max order to not be 10? Maybe it has something to do with the truck. It has something to do with the truck, like dropping it off. But that that game I played that was Clothing Store Simulator, that was this exact same game, built on the same engine and probably same assets. That game let you order, like, infinite boxes. It didn't have a 10 limit. Also, it, you can have more than 10 out here. 
They can be out here, so I don't know what they're doing. Maybe I can hire more employees now. Hmm. Hmm. Where do you go? See, I'm pitching in. I'm helping out around the store. Stand inside of my bleach. Ha 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 ha. This day went by fast. Holy crap. So many customers. Can I hire more employees now? The Bond Beck candy is too expensive. I don't care. I don't care how expensive the Bond Beck candy is. If you won't buy my Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast Bond Beck bar, somebody else will. I got more of this stuff? I got too much. I ordered too much bleach. Whoops. This poor guy. No one's using his register. Come on, customers. Mr. Business, come on, over here. Over here, Mr. Business. This poor man. <laughs> he just wants to do his job. Why do we even have this guy? He's not doing anything. You're not adding anything to my business, chump. Put him in a box. Pack him up. Here, now maybe they'll use you. It's getting a little bit cramped in here. It's getting a little bit cramped and dark. These aisles aren't even big enough for a shopping cart. You couldn't even get a cart through here. If you had to optimize for proper shopping cart flow, that'd be hard. That'd be a hard game. I can't do that in real life. All right, I left off on the cereal. I remember that. So keep ordering. And the store is closed after 9. Why did I close that? Because now it's... Oh, save my scroll. That's good. It saved my scroll. That's good. I could end the day, but I want all these customers' sweet, sweet money. I want their cash. Give me your dollar bills, plaid shirtman. The manager's getting impatient. He's like, come on. Time to close up shop. Once you people leave, I'm buying more flooring. Just so you wait, customers. Your local mom and pop grocer is going to become a Walmart. Sooner than you think. I'm afraid to tab off of the item ordering screen because I'm in the middle of ordering one of everything. I want to tab over to the customization, but I'm afraid it'll lose my place. I can just remember the word cereal. As long as I can remember the word cereal, I should be good. Can I order paint at this time of night? Oh, paint is added to the cart, so no. The answer is no. Unfortunate. Couldn't find the eggs. Well, someone's not making an omelet. No omelet for you. It's a very reflective wall. That wall really says a lot about our society, you know? I look upon it, I reflect deeply. I think it's reflecting... It's reflecting the other walls, I think, but not the shelves. I don't think it's trying to reflect the shelves. I think it's just reflecting, like, the empty box. They wax that wall with the voodoo hide, mm-hmm. Claustrophobic storage room in the pitch dark. Yeah, I should do that. I gotta paint the storage room to be void black. It's gonna be void darkness in there. That way you can't see all the workplace hazards. Alright, good job everybody. Good big profits. Good profits, good profits. Let me go order some stuff. Get you guys started on the day. Purchased. Let's go ahead and order this batch as well. And right, we stopped at peanut butter. Let's get some more white paint. And I can't. 
Hmm, what do I not order? Let's not order any food. Let's order white paint instead. The paint is more important. My store might go bankrupt, honestly. These new customization options might drive my business straight into the ground. I can, I can get, I get loans. There's loans. Bail me out. Yeah, you know you gotta bail me out. Yeah, it's a financial crisis. Oh, you know you gotta bail me out. All right, the corners are now all white, which is all I needed the white paint for, right? I think the white paint is done. Oh, I can paint, I can paint the brickwork? No way. Oh, nothing happened. Can I paint this? Nothing happened again. Hmm. Can I find a wall that's using the default wall texture? Because maybe only that default wall is allowed to be painted. It's looking like brickwork to me, though. I don't see any more walls. Anybody got a Stonehenge? Can I splash some paint onto a Stonehenge? Please bail us out, yeah. We need, a, we need a government bailout. Meanwhile, the executives just keep buying blue paint buckets. Over and over again. Why is my background red? I thought it was blue. And resetting it costs money. I don't think I want that chunk. That's too big of a chunk. I like how being able to paint the chunks of the wall kind of lets you see how the game is constructed. Not amazingly. It would be more geometric if I extended, extended the space a little bit, I guess. But that, that's yeah, I want that. That's a good size. But the one over here is too big. It comes out too far. Get out of here, paint bucket. It's blue time. I think the blue that'll make the biggest impact is probably the back wall. Gotta add the extendment to the building. Come on, paint. Ah, uh, no more paint. Sad. Carry the paint into the street and perform insurance fraud. Yeah, there you go. Somebody painted my brickwork. Somebody splashed paint all over my store. Oh, man, I need a big... These windows are expensive to clean. I'll be needing a large payout for this. Plus the P-Man. Thank you, plus the P-Man, for plus the P-scribing. Ah, oh, I'm hit by a car. Ah, pay me insurance. Pay me millions. And I gotta follow Saul Goodman's advice. I gotta get hit by a nice car. Don't get hacked. Hacked? Don't get hit by the esteem. Not the cabbie. Where's a nice one? Where's a nice sports car? Plus the P-Man, you can be G-Man, but he's P-Man instead. Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Time to use the restroom. <laughs> he's the P-Man. That would be a source film animation. Not no 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 no. Not source filmmaker. That would be a G mod animation. A four by three G mod animation filmed in two forty p. Uploaded on YouTube fourteen years ago. And the name of that video? Skibbity toilet. It's Skibbity toilet because G man's in the toilet. Oh my god! I invented Skibbity toilet. <laughs> it all loops back around to Skibbity toilet. Skibbity deep dab dab. Yes yes. Incredible. Just gotta go back in time and make Skibbity Toilet before Skibbity Toilet became popular. Then I can be popular. Then my Skibbity Toilet had the most views of any Skibbity Toilet Skibbities. Skibbity Dibbity Doo. Alright, I gotta order some food. I do have a responsibility to this community as the only grocery store they have. As literally the only source of food for anybody in this entire district of the town. Have to keep them stocked on healthy items like chocolate cereal and literally just a bag of sugar. I can hire more. I gotta do more checkouts? I hate that so much. I don't want to grind more checkouts. It's not fun. It's very boring. 
Release a skibbity Biden four years earlier. Change the timeline. Yeah, that would change the timeline. Butterfly effect. Oh, I got bills to pay. I got mouths to feed. Man, there ain't nothing in this world for free. I wish the blue paint was free. Need more blue paint. I need that flooring as well. Give me some flooring. Give me some blue paint. See, I'm working hard. I'm renovating. Renovating the business is hard work. No customers will shop and their only option for food at the floor isn't cool looking. Wow, that's like not a lot of flooring. That is not a lot of flooring at all in that flooring box. Pokemon go to the polls? Yeah, Pokemon go to the polls did change history. If you release Skibbity Biden at the same exact day as Pokemon goes to the polls? Oh, man. Imagine the ramifications of that. Please tell me I can get all three of these. Don't tell me there's going to be one left. Oh my god, what a scam by Big Paint, dude. A scam by Big Paint. To steal my hard-earned pigments. How dare they. Oh no, I know flooring is not cheap. I'm just saying in the game, I wish it was really cheap. Because you think about it, it's going to be a durable surface that people... Especially like in like a store, like an industrially durable surface that like... Thousands of people will be abusing every day with no regard to it. It's got to be quality material and therefore expensive. Couldn't find, couldn't find, couldn't. I am ordering everything on the menu, guys. I don't know what you want from me. Is this even on the shelf? Yeah, it's right there. We got it on the shelf. Come on, order my mafia pizza. What about this? Is tea on the shelf? It is now. Places are going with finished concrete. Yeah, one of the Walmarts near me got that concrete floor a few years ago. I miss the white tile. The white tile was more Walmart to me. The concrete floor is less Walmart. Concrete floor is a lot less cozy. Got plenty of money now. That's good. This, are you are you okay, ma'am? She's stuck. Sprite to the left of me. Pepsi to the right. Here I am stuck in the coolers with you. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> this is where the line starts. So ima imagine you're this customer, right? You walk up. You see the, you see the line is really long. Instead of standing, like the, the proper place to stand is right here. And maybe it goes back into the aisle. Maybe it loops around this way. It probably goes back into the aisle. But ima imagine seeing the situation and be like, yeah, I guess I'm going to stand here. This is where the line will be. And then, are you, oh, sorry, man, are you in line? Yeah, I'm in line. Oh, crap, where do I go? Oh, he doesn't know where to go. I'm in, I'm standing in line. Sorry, sir. There you go, hop in line. White tile with the ever so often gray tile for no reason. Yeah, they, one of their tiles got cracked by something. What, what item is strong enough to crack a Walmart tile? I don't want to know, but something... The Walmart tile got cracked, and they replaced it with a color that is not white, and they're just, like, everywhere. There's, like, a yellow one, a gray one. Like, how hard could it be to just put a white tile down? I guess it was too hard for Walmart, too much of an expense. But, hey, at least they're passing the savings on to me. What's supposed to go in here? This is very out of stock. Some kind of a brown bag type thing. I got a lot of yogurt in storage. Why do I have so much yogurt in storage? A lot of mafia pizza in storage. Cola. Here we go. I can stock some cola. Oh, the cola is good. So the stockers are doing a pretty good job, actually. I don't know how I'm missing so many products, though. Look, look at this shelf. How is this shelf missing anything? It's so well furnished. Got a lot of butter. Who wants some butter?
Yeah, I gotta make that blue. I don't know why it turned red. I gotta rehire the contractor. The contractor painted, painted it wrong on purpose, and now he's gonna bill me for the blue paint materials as well. SMH my head. Nobody wants to paint anymore these days. All right, we'll get, we'll get two things a tile. I think I need one more blue paint total. Should be good. We'll ignore food for now. We'll just go with paint. Begin tiling. I like how I'm tiling the area nobody goes to. So the new flooring will have the lowest possible effect on customer morale. Yeah, a lot of products not found. I had to, to just pause and do a deep, deep dive into my total store inventory, which I don't feel like doing. I had to like stop everything and go, okay, let me, let me walk through and get out a real life pen and paper and take stock of what we have here. We have no honey, apparently. Got to order some honey. Got to order some oil. Let me do that real quick. Where's that green oil? There we go. Now what should happen is they should take those and go put them on the shelf, which they are doing. Okay, good. Oh, they stock really fast. They got skills. Why is that yellowish? Why does it have a yellowish hue? It's supposed to be white. Like that, that's the color. I'm going for that color. So why is it that color? I don't like that. The wall back there is darker though. Maybe it's a lighting thing. But what What could be, is it the floor? Is the floor bouncing brown onto the wall? There's no way. There's no way that's how it is, right? It can't be. All right, that was the last blue I need, I think. Unless I want to paint the front blue. Yeah, because see, th those are both white, but this one is like a cream color, like an eggshell cream. That's, that's more of an eggshell. It's more of a cream. It's, it's more accurate, though. Having having mismatched, uh, mismatched, mismatched flooring and paint, as we've previously discussed, is part of the Walmart vibe. So to mismatch the paint some more, let's go ahead and just... Uh, Throw some random blue spots on back here. With no regard for rhyme or reason. I'm going for that uh, that fumigation tent look from Breaking Bad. Going for that Vominos Pest aesthetic. You missed a wall? Don't say that. After all my paint is gone. Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> the Susu corner. I forgot about the Susu corner. The columns should be white. I mean, I made the corners white. The corners are white. Do you think I should put like a white stripe like here? Like behind every shelf goes a white stripe? That could look kind of... Kind of vominos pesty. I think having all the... I know what you're saying. I think having the corners white is a decent approximation of that though. Oh, out front they should be white? Well, out front they're just this. I don't know if I can paint these. I tried to paint the brickwork and nothing happened. Am I really going to spend 200 coins on white paint to try this? You better believe it. Nope, it didn't change. Oh, you mean this, like, black window part? I don't think that can be changed. Yeah, that can't be changed. The window trim stays black, unfortunately. Well, we can keep going ruining this aesthetic. Really trying to make the workers as depressed as possible. 
When they look in the mirror in the Walmart break room, we want them to see a clown, a literal clown, staring back at them. Tell me who's that funny dude staring back at me. You mean this? This should be white? Is this what you mean? That's going to be blue once I get more blue paint. Which I will acquire post-haste. Oh did, I, oh, did I use different blue? Did I use a different shade of blue for part of the wall? Did I always use the cartoon blue? I might have used, like, the... Yeah, that's what happened, I think. Yeah, that's what it was. Oh, no, I painted it the wrong blue. Oh, no. The columns between the windows, the white walls... What? The columns between the windows. Yeah, these. Right? The white wall is already white. So this, you mean this? These are painted white. According to the game, those are painted white. That's the column between the window, right? That's what you're talking about? Yes. Yeah, according to the game, those are painted white. They're not. Like, that's not, that's a egg cream color. Yeah, this is more of a wall. This is more of a modern Walmart color. The light blue is modern Walmart. Old Walmart went more of that dark blue. But these days, everything is washed out. Got to go desaturated. Got to have no beveled edges. Got to be completely flat. Completely flat and devoid of all joy is the uh, graphic design standards of the day. All I was saying is you should leave them like that. Oh, you weren't even saying to change them. You were saying those were good as they are. Hey, looking pretty good. What's looking good, huh? What, what What specifically? What specifically is looking good, huh? Tell me, tell me. Oh, that's so frustrating. What about my store looks good? Why can't you just give me a solid answer? The smiley mascot? Yeah, the smiley mascot. Now they just have, like, a sunburst. I think the official corporate name is The Spark, because the game was called Walmart Spark City. That thing sucks. Turn the light up to save on electricity? Nah, it's fine. The customer's got to be able to see all the products I don't have on the shelves. We're missing fish soap. The honey all sold out again? Oh my god. A free browser extension that saves you money. And we're out of so many things. I got I got to order, like, that's what I got to do. I can't be ordering one of stuff. I got to order, like, ten of everything. But ordering ten of everything costs a lot of money... And I spent all my money on getting blue paint. Whoops. You missed a spot comments? Gonna go nuts on this one? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna purposely decorate the store wrong for engagement in the YouTube comments. That's definitely my goal. I remember small town stores with wood floors. Probably like a like a Cracker Barrel probably has a wood floor, right? Because their whole vibe is wood. They probably have that. They're they're not like a store. They're like a restaurant, though. I feel like restaurants having wood floors is not as rare as a store with a wood floor. If you were in charge of Walmart, what would you use to rebrand the company? Does it need rebranding? I feel like their their current vibe is pretty uh like soulless, soulless hell corporation, which is a uh, what they're going for. They should just lean into the AI Sam Walton. That's what they should do. The AI Sam Walton should be in every commercial. Hey, it's me. The hideous digital revenant of Sam Walton here to tell you about our new sale for baked beans. They are good. Come buy them at my Walmart shop. <laughs> and he, he talks like interdimensional cake. Crap, he talks like Rick and Morty. Crap, crap. <laughs> no. Hey, uh, it's me, Sam Walton. Come on, come to my store. I got, uh, we got yogurt. You want yogurt? We have it a lot. Not eggs, though. Our eggs are lacking. So come on down. Ooh. He could replace Bo. Yeah, dude. AI Sam Walton replacing Bo. That'd be amazing. 
that would be hilarious. Almost as hilarious as Uncle Beer Can. 50 months subscription. Oh my God. Thank you for subscribing for 50 straight months. I don't know if they're straight months, but 50 months in total, Uncle Beer Can. Holy crap. Can you believe I scammed this guy 50 times? I mean, fool me once. Shame on you. Is that shame on me? Fool me 50 times. I mean, it's, it's a lost cause at that point. What happened to the VR shopping thing they tried? Uh, they made the Walmart VR shopping thing. They made a like a corporate pitch that was nothing. I feel like they might have just made that so that people would make a YouTube video and go, the Walmart is weird shopping? Huh? Then they got a bunch of like uh, marketing out of that. I don't know what that would do though because all the marketing was just like commentary guy going, this sucks. Bit of a misguided effort there. I'm not really sure what they stood to gain. All right, I got to get some products. We're running out of money. This is not a day for painting. Why do I have so much pizza, dude? I have so much pizza and yogurt. I don't need any of those. We need more honey and oil. The honey's so expensive, dude. Stupid bees. Ruining my beesness. Oh, yeah, we need chocolate cereal. Don't forget that. Here at Walmart, we care about your family. This is why we sell an entire, literally an entire aisle of sugary breakfast cereal that will kill your child slowly. Not gonna lie though, I do eat, well, not so much these days. These days, I don't eat cereal really. If I'm gonna have it, it's Cheerios. Like I got, I got Cheerios in stock right now because Cheerios is good, but I don't eat them that much. You know, sometimes you're in the mood for a bowl and you go for some uh, some Cheerios. But back in the day, man, back back before school, early in the morning, oh man, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Lucky's Charms. All the good stuff. All the raw sugar in a bowl. Frosted Flakes, they're more than good, they're great. Now I want to eat some. Now, oh, dude, cereal taste test. I should go buy one of those boxes of like 10 different mini cereals and do cereal rating ranking taste test. That's what gaming YouTubers do unironically. I've seen a lot of gaming channels. They just make their second channel into food taste test videos. Like, I'm going to try every item that they got at the grocery store. I should just do that, honestly. That would indeed be content. Yeah, it would be content. It'd be better than half these games I play. Would you rather watch a Cinti Asset game or me reviewing every flavor of Apple Jacks? Because there is, for some reason, multiple flavors of Apple Jacks when there probably shouldn't be. Probably just one was fine. Couldn't find coffee light roast. Well, coffee light roast costs quite a bit of money, so. I believe that one's in the hundreds in terms of cost, so not really sure we're going to be stocking that anytime soon. I'm kind of digging myself into an economic hole here. And she couldn't find any. Yeah, we spend half our money on stuff that I'm not even sure I need. Energy milk. Oh, dude, energy milk. Perfect. Sometimes you really need dairy. And you also need energy. Energy milk. It's perfect. <laughs> Does caffeinated milk exist? Does that exist? It might exist. The guy I watched, oh, it, it scrolled away, sorry. The chat is scrolling kind of quick. I'm, I'm sorry, Tetanus Frisbee, you keep typing in paragraphs, and that's like the third paragraph you typed that has scrolled up too fast. Whoops. RIP chat interaction. No more chat interaction. You know, you know, if you wanted me to see your message, maybe we should do a subscribe for 50 months. Maybe like, fair, subscribe to my Patreon Discord, which <laughs> you already are. Maybe then I'll parasocial your message. All right, here, there's one. Logo should be a cow moving at supersonic speed with lightning bolts. There we go, yeah. The logo for energy milk. Yeah, I think it's like a superhero cow. Like, it's a cow that's wearing a ripoff Superman costume, and he's, like, flying. Or the Flash. I feel like it's easier to... It's probably easier to draw a cow, like, Superman flying than it is to draw a cow, like, the Flash running. I feel like a Superman flying cow is probably an easier illustration to ask an AI to make for you.
Ryan Higa has caffeine milk. What the heck? He has caffeine milk. Yep, I'm doing it. I'm going to pivot. I'm going to pivot to a food review channel. going to review some caffeine milk. It'll be amazing. True Moo has that. So it does exist. I've just never seen it in stores because who's going to stock that? It can't be popular, right? That can't be like the popular product. A milkshake that'll give you the shakes. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Lemon lime burst energy milk. <laughs> The all-new Summertime Citrus Explosion Energy Milk Flavor. Caffeinated milk with caffeinated cereal. Oh, delicious. That would be good. That would get me moving. All right, we need some cheese. Need that Compti cheese. Compti cheese, blue pasta, powdered milk. Where's that Compti cheese? I got a thousand bucks now. I got plenty of bucks. Powder milk. Yeah, Compti cheese is one of our oldest. That wasn't Compti cheese. It was on a shelf. Compti cheese goes in the thing. So what was that? There was like a green thing that wasn't Compti cheese that was out of stock. Was it tuna? Was it the dishwasher? I'm not sure what that item was. Let me go check. Monster milk. I mean, Monster has coffee drinks so kind of they kind of are pretty much there they're pretty close to monster milk already oh that was green susu oh my god we're running out of susu we can't have this rub up that susu that's a good order Go over and beyond your caffeine needs all before 9 a.m. Yeah, be sure to get that. And then, and then when you crash, when you crash in the afternoon, drink some more. Drink some, and that's when five-hour energy comes in. It's perfect. They should make a decaffeinated, they should make caffeinated decaf. That's what they need. Because sometimes you want all the delicious flavor of coffee, but you don't want the caffeine which is what decaf is for, but you do actually want some caffeine. So caffeinated decaf is my new product. What do you think? Ninja milk is energized tea using real milk, so it's not entirely monster milk. That sucks. I wish it was just milk. I wish it was just normal, like 2% milk with caffeine in it. That'd be funny. Recaf. Oh, dude, recaf. There you go. Half calf, yeah, half calf. I like recaf. Recaf is a good name. We took the caffeine out and then we recaffeinated it using our signature homegrown blend. I haven't been jumping that much. I gotta start jumping to give viewers motion and sickness more. What am I doing? I'm shirking my duties. Those who shirk their duties will be subject to extra beatings. Grelod the Kind should run a Walmart, TBH. And the store is closed, so I can't bulk order. I gotta get my store in order, man. These shelves are so unstocked. Okay, the Susu is fine. The, the random back shelf Susu, that's the secret Susu. This is the secret Susu nobody knows about. But fortunately, the Susu Shrine is still thriving, still doing good. Mountain Dew Kickstart? Oh, dude, Mountain Dew Kickstart, awful, awful drink. I know you just said you liked it, but that drink is real bad. Because when, when Mountain Dew Kickstart came out, I was like, dude... I'm a Mountain Dew fan. I'm going to like it. I'm going to like it by default because I'm a Mountain Dew fan. But it was bad, dude. They had the black cherry flavor and the yellow flavor and the red flavor and the orange flavor. That, the, the first four Mountain Dew Kickstarts. I don't, they might have redone the formula at some point and had new flavors. But the original batch of Mountain Dew Kickstarts, all four of those were disasters. Because I remember. I remember being excited to try those. I was like, oh, boy. I'll try the new Mountain Dew. I was like, ugh. Ugh. 
Ugh. Real bad. Real, real bad. Yeah, the spicy Mountain Dew was bad, too. There were there were stores that were literally giving the spicy Mountain Dew away. Like, they just had it in front of the store, and they said, take it. We don't want it, because nobody will ever buy this. All right, good day, fellas. I'm going to order some more stock tomorrow. It has come to my attention that the only way to truly renovate the store flooring is to become super profitable, so I have to try the game now for a few minutes, which will suck. All right, we need three of you. Preferably four would be good. Four of that. The green cheese. And huge eggs. That'll be our first order of the day. Well, first I'll order what's in my cart already. Who knows what's even there? Oh, I have no money. Never mind. Never mind. The store will... I had to pay all my stupid employees their wages. Ugh. Salary moment. Remember the Kickstart in the Monster Can or the Red Bull Can? The Monster Can. I didn't try the small ones. The the kick the big Kickstart in the Monster Can is the one I'm talking about. That's the one that sucked. I never tried the small Red Bull size can ones. Was it better? Can I fire what can I fire these guys before the end of the day? Oh no, I tried that before. They have a hiring fee. The developers thought of that and they put a fee on them for hiring and firing so you can't just fire them all before the end of the day and get more profit. Unfortunately. Beep, beep, beep. We need the Walmart beep in here. Is there a Walmart beep? There is a Walmart beep. The Walmart beep is a doo-doo-doo from the self-checkout machine. The The scanners are doing their thing in the background. But usually it's unexpected item in bagging area. Or doo-doo-doo, doo-doo-doo, please insert your car. Doo-doo-doo, the stupid self-checkout. What's the deal with self-checkout? I gotta do it myself now. I'm jumping crap, sorry. Sorry, jump haters. There's a nice car. Here we go, here we go. Payday time. No, he's getting away. <laughs> he's getting away. All right, run me down. Come on, do it. Do it, Iowa. I hate all Iowans. Iowa must pay. Like, favorite, subscribe if you're from Iowa. If you're from Iowa and you own a sports car, I'm about to ruin your life. If he'll move, he knows. There we go, here we go. Oh! Oh, I've been flung across the street. I'm dead. You saw that, right? You saw Taylor Swift? She saw. She knows. She's my witness. Dude, all you have to do is get a celebrity called as a like a witness in your trial, and your trial will do numbers. It'll be huge. It'll be all over the daily blogs. The blogosphere will be buzzing. Remember the blogosphere? What's up, fellow denizens of the blogosphere? I miss the blogosphere. Now all we got is a flogosphere. He is never, ever, ever being put back together. <laughs> all right, we're not doing Skyrim parodies now. We're doing we're doing uh, nursery rhymes. We're doing Humpty Dumpty. Cause Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was as white as snow, and everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Hey! <laughs> Taylor Swift sings nursery rhymes for your baby. This is our new album. We can use AI. With AI, anything is possible. With AI, anything except for good content is possible. As long as you have a terrible idea that definitely shouldn't exist, you're golden. Good ideas are not allowed. We're definitely out of potato bag. Potato bag's always running out. So our pasta elbows. Remember when I said I was going to carefully stock my products? That was just a joke. That was a trick to see if you were paying attention. Because I'm not doing that.
All my money is now spent. There we go. I'm liquid. I'm liquid. Here, I'll help. I order more pizza. Oh my god, I gotta stop ordering the pizza, dude. We got too many pizzas. We got too many of these mafia pizzas. Way too many. <laughs> Put the frozen pizza on the shelf. Man, no one's buying the pizza. Probably because it's just been thawing on the shelf for weeks and is disgusting. If we ever get a government inspection, we're gonna fail instantly. Yeah, there's people. There's people who don't consume caffeine. I don't know how. Well, the 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 way to not consume caffeine is to not start. Because when once once you're used to once you've had caffeine for a few days in a row, and you don't have it, your body's like, "What are we doing, dude? What are we doing? Where's the caffeine at?" So I'm like, "Oh, okay, fine. I don't I don't feel like going to two to three days of misery. So I will keep pumping caffeine into my body. It probably is okay." Right? Yeah, the back of this monster can has a bunch of scary chemicals. I don't know what they do. But it probably won't give me super cancer in 20 years, I'm sure. I'll be fine. Yeah, I'll be fine. People 100 years from now will look back on monster energy like we do with cigarettes. Like, I can't believe they used to drink monster energy, man. Can you believe that? Can you believe they drank that stuff and nobody said anything? Can you believe it used to not be outlawed? It's insane. It's like a terrible addiction to drugs? Yeah, 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 exactly. It's like a terrible drug addiction. That's what it is. I can quit any time, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> I, I could quit. Believe me, I could quit, but I'm not gonna do it. I got huge money now. Where'd this money come from? Where did this influx come from? I'm wealthy, I'm wealthy. Did it come from a solid day of doing good business, I wonder? Could that be it? I feel like my shelves are always empty. Get some more shelf warming type items. Let's get this bread, literally get this bread. Oh, yeah, we're so stock now. We got so much stock. Don't even want to know how much stock I got now. <laughs> this is how the manager runs the store. Uh, yep, you guys are having a tough time out here on the registers, huh? Well, don't believe me. It's it's no smooth sailing being a manager either. Walks behind the computer, just mashes random order buttons. Oh, that was a rough shift. That was a rough shift at the old grocery store. I had to click order like nine times. I watched a monster video that says if you flip the camps, oh yeah, it's true, it is. Dude, monster energy is the mark of the devil. That's true, I have seen that one. It is Satan. If I ever saw a person in real life that had one of those little booths that was set up that was called like, don't drink monster or go to hell, I, I would have to investigate. I would have to go talk to him. Like, get, all right, give me the spiel. Convince me. I got to hear this. Yeah, we're we're above addictions. We don't we don't do addictions on this channel. Except for gambling simulators, I play those. Games where you run a business as well. It's a more of a healthy addiction, I'd say, cuz running running a business is productive if it's a real life business. <laughs> if it's a fake business, it's kind of a waste of everyone's time. It's kind of a waste of both mine and yours time to be running a fake Walmart for your amusement, but You know, you only get one life. You only get one life on this earth, and then you die. So, might as, might as well spend it watching a guy play a Walmart simulator. Like, favor, subscribe to Oboe Shoes Games, then turn your phone off and go for a walk. Go outside. If this public service announcement has helped you turn your life around, then be sure to mash that like button and hit up the Patreon. 
technically running this fake business is part of your actual business. Yeah, it's part of my actual business. My real business is running a fake business. But what excuse do you have, huh? <laughs> What's your excuse? My real business is watching a guy run his real business by running a fake business. If you if you were a view bot, if you were a view bot seller, that could work. You could justify it. Where does the pasta go? Why do we have four shelves for honey? We don't need that. It's not even that good of a browser extension. All it's gonna do is scrape your data. You don't need it. Don't listen to Mr. Beast. Uh, the yellow oil. Do we not have a yellow oil shelf? What are we doing in here? Who's running the store? Who's running this place? They're doing a real shoddy job. Not a great establishment. Viewbot? Who's who's a viewbot, huh? View I'm not a viewbot. Crappy's on to us. Crappy knows. Everyone scram. The watchers are all sleeping. Everyone's asleep right now. All the viewers already fell asleep. You know, some people are like, I always get comments on my videos that are like, I use your videos to fall asleep. I don't ever get that. No one, oh, I'm negative 170, time for a loan. It costs like $1,000 a day to run the store, dude. This is, I'm gonna go out of business. Where's my loans? Where's my loan, dude? Need that b -b -b bailout. Hit me with that APR. Yeah, all right. They were all, oh, dude, all, oh, dude. Seven grand. All right, now, now, we can, now we can finish customizing the store with our loan. Our business is teetering on the brink of oblivion, and yet paint is still on my mind. So I need one more paint and a lot more flooring. Yeah, yeah, get some items too, I guess. A lot more flooring. Bank, can I have a loan to resuscitate your dying business? Yes. Actually buys tile flooring like a boss. When I'm sleepy, I put on an oboe video. There's one. Excuse me, taxi. I'm waiting for you to get billions of views, then be employed as an actual writer. I would, but I can't. <laughs> if, if, I, if I had enough views to hire somebody to write my live commentary for me, that'd be very, that'd be very convenient for me. As of now, you guys write the live commentary for free, so. Save on labor costs by getting Twitch to ghostwrite your videos for you. <laughs> One weird trick that big YouTube doesn't want you to know. Did you know Mr. Beast doesn't even write his own Mr. Beast? It's crazy. Uh, we need that egg 12 pack and that cheese. Let's go do that. Let's try to order one at a time. Try ordering one at a time now. We gotta focus on bailing out the business. Alright, uh, 12 pack eggs. One, two, three, four. The green cheese. There we go. That's those items purchased. I fall asleep to your videos on accident. There we go. No, you can fall asleep to the video. It's fine. If you fall asleep to the video, all the ads still play, and you're not awake to skip them. Hee 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 hee. Uh, we need that green shampoo. Let's get green shampoo and the uh, the orange coffee. And the Windex. I can remember three things at a time. Green shampoo. Windex. And one of the uh, dishwasher tablets. Sure. Like watching a boring sports game? Yeah, that's why I gotta get MLB TV. I mean, don't, actually. Go, don't. You definitely shouldn't go to meth streams. Because Sports Surge is unreliable these days, which sucks. You definitely shouldn't go to meth streams and watch all the MLB games for free. You definitely shouldn't do that when you're trying to fall asleep. 
don't do that one. I don't support condone that at all. And you can even choose between the home and the way broadcast usually. I mean, it's a terrible website. You really shouldn't use it. Uh, we got sugar. We got bees. I get the Pablo sugar, the bee cereal, potatoes, oil. The bee cereal. Where's Pablo sugar? Where is it? There's the oil. It's no susu sugar, so nobody really wants it. There he is. Buy a few more of them. I'm trying to fully stock the store. What was the fourth thing? I forgot the fourth thing. I order one paper towel instead. Was it honey? I think I did need some honey. Yeah, look at that. Look at that stock shelf. Oh, we have we have plenty of shelves. Oh, we need powdered milk. What is that? Bread? Oh, potatoes. I forgot potato bag. I gotta get potato bags. I'm gonna spend like this entire loan just stocking the store. That's probably good. But I wanted to buy more flooring. Where's potato bag? Isn't potato bag on the left-hand side? Oh, that's the chicken. No, 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 no. I mean, maybe, yeah, who cares? Not like we're not going to need it at some point. All right, we need the uh, dark coffee roast, salt, Nutella, bee cereal. Didn't I already get bee cereal? I guess I can get one more bee cereal. So dark coffee, Nutella, salt, bee cereal. Oh, that's not the coffee, it's the tea black. Sorry, England. What was the fourth one? I can never remember the fourth item, I'm telling you. Three is the limit. Oh, yeah, salt. It's salt. When I tell people I used to like to watch golf, I have to explain to golf fans I only use it to sleep. Watching golf is so boring, dude. That's just a boring sport to watch. It's good for sleeping. It definitely works for that, though. Apple juice, tuna cheese, a lot of cheese, like five cheese. Now five of that Compti cheese. The people can't get enough Compti action. Uh, bread. Could use some bread. Uh, this shelf needs... Why is there no spaghetti on this shelf? We gotta put some spaghetti on there. Yeah, some of these shelves just aren't being used. What's going on with that? Flour, pasta, spaghetti. Pasta, flour, spaghettis, maybe some rice as well. Golf is a great game to watch and play. It's probably fun to play. But to watch, there's a lot of nothing happening in that one. There's a lot of nothing happening in golf. A lot of just standing around. That's why I prefer baseball, the much more action-packed sport where standing around doing nothing never occurs, except for more. it's more frequent than the actual playing time. Right, we need the marshmallow. We need the Mr. Beast chocolate. There we go. Mr. Beast confirmed for Fortnite. I got to put some of these pastas on the shelf because the shelf was not accepting pastas correctly. You are now macaroni. Your macaroni or spaghetti, rather. There we go. The spaghetti shelf has been established anew. Flower power.
Why do we have caffeine drinks to wake up but no melatonin drinks to fall asleep to? Uh, we do. I mean, I do. Walmart sells them. I haven't ever drank one, but they do have them. They might even be in the same aisle as the monster, honestly. But yeah, I've seen those. You, you can buy like a sleepy time ZZZ melatonin drink from Walmart. I want to see, dude, for April Fool's, oh, it's perfect. For April Fool's Caffeine Man should review a melatonin drink. That'd be great. Hey, everybody, Caffeine Man here, here with the new uh, NyQuil Extreme. <laughs> Sometimes you're tired and thirsty. Sometimes you're thirsty and tired. It's perfect. You ever wake up in the middle of the night and you drink some water and you're like, oh crap, now I'm awake. What if that water could just put you back to sleep? Oh, those shelves are already established. I need a lot more black tea. You are 100% the boss that comes in, tries to help the stalkers, and mostly gets in the way. Yeah, they're just like, oh god, the boss is helping again. Hey, watch out, Terry. The boss is trying to help us out again. He's, uh, he's handling the money. He's ordering the food. Oh, that was a tea. Okay. Do I need some coffee dark roast? I might. Who knows? I overheard him in the office again. He's just ordering a bunch of random stuff. All right. Blue pasta, powdered milk. Has your family tried the powdered milk? That was a Prairie Home Companion reference, which... I think you can't make those anymore. For reasons. Don't worry, though. Nobody got it. It's fine. <laughs> I don't think that's a well-known franchise amongst Twitch viewership. I think I should be in the clear with that one. Uh, what was I buying? Powdered milk. Powdered milk and the... Uh, I forgot. I got Prairie Home Companioned. Let's get some eggs. I don't need an egg four-pack. I need those. I know it. I know it. I know it. Oh, God. It's not even good, right? Does anyone think it's good? Does anybody think that Prairie Home Companion is good? Every time I hear it, I'm like, it sucks. I haven't heard it in years, obviously. But every time I heard it, I was like, this sucks. What is the appeal? Welcome to my new retrospective series where you watch every single video of Prairie Home Companion and rank them. What are you? Need the brown bag and the blue bag and Sprite. Oh, we need so much Sprite, dude. We need so much Sprite. Where's that brown bag? Give me some brown bag action. Brown bag, blue brag, Sprite. Oh, I never meant to bag, but I'm working at the Walmart now. Oh, it was never my intention to bag. I'm working at the checkout now. Uh, are we ready to open? We have kind of a lot of stuff. Get a green fridge for the Sprite? Nah, come on. The green fridge is for Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew goes in the green gamer fridge. It's the only one worthy of that honor. Here, stalkers, I'll help you guys out. I'm in the business of Walmart. Let's take it from the top. They got a store that sells eyeglasses in the prescription shop. Eh. Eh, it's something. I'll just outsource that one to the old, uh, the old writing studio. Somebody finish that one off for me. I expect it on my desk by the end of the day. The store is now open. You have until this day ends to give me the misery business, Walmart business parody, or you're fired. Clock's ticking. Wait, wait, don't tell me is far superior. Yeah, that that's a better show.
Had a brain fart and thought Sprite still came in green bottles. It doesn't. It doesn't still come in green bottles. I thought it did. If you ask me what color bottle of Sprite, I would go green, obviously, and then die, I guess. I guess it's clear now. Because Sierra Mist is starry, right? So that one's that one. That one's stupid. I guess Sprite is clear. Favorite drink, Starry. I love Starry. I love Starry so much. Stupid drink. Dumb drink. Awful drink. Terrible drink. Car Talk? Oh, yeah. Car Talk might be the best one. In terms, in terms of NPR shows, is Car Talk the best one? I think yes is the answer, right? It's gotta be. Like, favorite, subscribe for Cos Costco? No, not Costco. I wish this was a Costco. Like, favorite, subscribe for NPR show reviews. I mean, there's I, there's no one that's better than Car Talk. Car Talk just wins. That one just wins. I used to listen to some NPR before I had a car that had Bluetooth capabilities so my Spotify could work on it. Because before I had to plug the aux cord in, some, sometimes I was too lazy to plug in the aux cord and, like, type it into my phone and get it going. But ever since my car got a, not even that big of an upgrade, it's a minor upgrade. Like, seven years ago. Seven years ago, I got a non-aux cord type stereo that could connect to my phone automatically. Then NPR vanished forever. Bye-bye. From there on out, it was Weezer, Weezer, and more Weezer. Nothing different. No variety. The wait, wait, don't tell me guy sounds like you asked the AI to make a smarmy radio host. He really does. He always has a little comment for everything. What are we discussing? We're discussing national public radio shows in the USA. A topic with a lot of broad appeal. If you if you if you want to fall asleep to something, if you want something to fall asleep to, turn on NPR. There you go. You'll be dozing in no time. You'll be counting sheep. When did they stop making Bionicle books? Probably when Bionicle stopped. I mean, Greg wrote a f technically Greg did write a few more canon serials that took place after the line's cancellation. <laughs> No one subscribes to Oboe Gaming for the in-depth Bionicle lore, right? That's not anything anybody wants to hear. Definitely not one of the core pillars. All right, I'm gonna. You know what? I, I stocked the whole store. I'm gonna splurge. I don't need blue paint, actually. Wait, I know I do because I still have a wrong colored wall. I'm gonna splurge on some decor. I know I shouldn't. I want to, but I know I shouldn't. It's not a decoration the Jedi would give you. I sure hope that Darth Plagueis shows up in the Acolytes. Yay, otherwise the cannon. I can just tile the visible floor. Hmm, what if I just tile the visible floor? Then nobody will know. Nobody has to know, right? No one's gonna know. Oh, but the, oh no, the shelf is offset. They'll know. They'll know. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, oh, crap. I'm so screwed. I'm kind of terrified to know how much I have to pay off at the end of the day, since now I have three loans worth of debt. It's not going to be a small number. You're saying the Weezer special was a butterfly effect of you having or losing a crappy Auxia. The Weezer special was probably a butterfly effect of getting a Bluetooth dongle from my crappy car stereo. Thanks, Bluetooth dongle. You just plug it into the aux, and then you connect your phone to it, and then it just works. Changed history. Mm -hmm. History was never the same. Things were forever altered. We can just go with In the Shop. In the Shop's a good Walmart song. In the shop, I feel great, paying secret a low wage. Why? 
Oh, there's still that too. Oh, I still have an excuse to buy more blue. Hurry, can I buy it before the day ends? Before the day is done, I need more blue paint. Homestar, dripping yellow madness left in the third grade. I won't forget the Susu Corner at last. At last, the Susu Corner is painted into its rightful shade. Behold. Oh, hang on. All right, now, behold. I wonder if Weezer had a bump for that special? I doubt it. Any bump that they had would be because they're doing a tour for their 30th anniversary album. That would be the bump. I doubt I had any effect at all. The fans were distracted, all 20 of them. Mm -hmm. All 20 of the Weezer fans saw my video. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's kind of a good video. Can I put this on his register? <laughs> Here you go, buddy. This is yours now. <laughs> Don't knock down this teetering can of paint. I added a fun new challenge to this. Here we go. If you knock the paint down, you're fired, and you owe me money for the damage you do to the floor. That's illegal, right? You can charge employees damages for damage they cause on the job. That's totally legal to do. Pretty sure you can do that. Kelly Clarkson love my video? Yeah, Kelly Clarkson Daily or whatever. I didn't know she had a show, but then up she pops when I recommended. Kelly Clarkson interviews River Cuomo Weezer, and I was like, oh, I'll watch that. And then it was a, a normal daytime TV interview where they say nothing for about 10 minutes and laugh the whole time. And I went, oh, I forgot. Daytime TV is awful, and you should never watch it, even, even if the topic is something you're interested in. Even if the person being interviewed is one of your most favorite guys, it still just sucks as a format. The format is just awful, and you should never watch it. The only daytime TV worth watching is The Price is Right. Although I wish Drew would stop hosting his wheel show and go back to hosting Who's Line, am I right? Host some more Who's Line, Drew. Get back in the game. Nighttime talk TV is also terrible. Yeah, pretty much all TV is terrible. If you're watching Twitch or YouTube, you are probably of the opinion that all TV is trash. Like, like if you turn on the TV, like a live feed to the TV. Like, obviously, you go on HBO and you watch, like, a prestige television show. Like, shows that are on streaming can be good. But if you just, like, are flipping through the channels, nothing on there is going to be worth watching in the slightest. It's all, unlike this, which is definitely worth watching. It's definitely worth watching a Walmart simulator guy. This is the... See, I, I'm trying something new with my stream today. Every about a half an hour, I'm trying to make you have an existential meltdown. Because I've, I've been noticing the viewer number has been going up a little bit recently, so I'm trying to insert an existential meltdown about every 30 minutes to remind you that this ultimately is a waste of time and you should probably do something else. Or just even have it on in the background. Having it on in the background while you like, do your chores is better. If, you, if you're just sitting there watching this, not doing anything right now, go do something and put this in the picture-in-picture -picture mode. All right, this, this has been your public service announcement. And now back to the c -c 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 content. Be sure to mash that Patreon and unsubscribe from my Discord channel. How did the day go? How is our profit margin? We have a bunch of customers that are stuck on this shelf. Which is bad. Look at those profits. All those profits I can't make because the customers are stuck. Oh well. <laughs> Send them to the Shadow Realm. The Shadow Dimension is now theirs. I couldn't really tell what the profit was. Because of the loan. Uh, we need more salt. What's, what's, like, what's desperately low in stock? Salt. Paper towel. Salt, paper towel, sanitizer, the clean dish. I can remember those four, right? Salt. Paper towel. Where's paper towel? Hey, Peter. We're going to need more paper towels in the paper towel department. 
My uh, hands are a little wet, Peter. I can use some paper towels, but your store appears to be out of stock. I thought the blue was going to be too dark, but the white floor makes that store pop. I don't know if you're being ironic or not, but yes, yeah, so it's the Walmart color scheme. This is the color scheme Walmart uses for a reason. I don't know what reason. Maybe blue is like a calming color. You know what annoys me is that Home Depot is Oboe Shoes Orange as their logo, but you go in there, the walls aren't orange. Nothing in there is orange, dude. Sometimes the shelves are orange. Sometimes. The employee's got an orange apron on. But they got to make the make the wall orange, dude. They got the concrete boring like warehouse wall. What are they doing? Come on, Home Depot. You're so close. Home Depot is so close to greatness. Need some more powder milk. Need any product at all to go there. All right, powder milk and the yellow oil. No, we got plenty of yellow oil. The green oil. Hmm, that's how they get you. That's how they get you. That's their devious trick, the green oil. Where did the powdered milk go? There it is. That's probably too much. Too much milk in my cart. Yeah, sure, buy it all, it's fine. Obo merchandise Home Depot tools. With the name filed off. Do they even have a brand? Does Home Depot even have their own brand of tools? They probably do, right? Been scrolling through Steam Summer Sale, debating on Persona or Baldergate. Yeah, I'm probably going to pick up Baldergate. I'm probably going to pick up Disco Elysium too, because Disco Elysium costs like $4 or something. It's like 90% off. It's a good price for Disco Elysium. I'm going to play Baldur's Gate and Disco Elysium back to back, and then I'll never play a RPG ever again in my life. If I play Baldur's Gate and Disco Elysium back to back, I got to go play Call of Duty for like a year to detox. I got to get all that good writing on my brain. Ugh. All right, the frozen food cabinet is lacking in frozen foods. What can we put in there? I know that the chicken goes in there. The fries, that's what we were missing. We're missing the fries. It all makes sense now. I should have known. This game should have a store inventory system. Yeah, it should. You should be able to see how much of each thing you have in stock. That'd be good. You wouldn't need to anyway, because both of them are the pinnacle of RPGs. They'll probably never be topped. Yeah, that's true. They're both literally best in class games, so every other game you play compared to them will suck. So yeah, I'll, I'll play those two, and then I never have to play any RPG ever again. It's perfect. It's a good plan. Rigid is the Home Depot brand. It's called Rigid. The base is orange, but it goes up a color every upgrade, like a reverse Borderlands system. What the heck? They got loot rarity? <laughs> they got loot rarity on their screwdrivers? I respect it. That's kind of fun. Oh boy, finally I can play Diablo at the home improvement store. Are we stocking nothing? Oh, the store is... No, the store is open. Where's my customers? Oh, there we go. The store is open. Where's my customers? Oh, we have more tile this whole time and nobody told me. Nobody told me the tail of the tile. Unfortunate. Someone's getting fired for that blunder. I am considering Ultimate Chicken Horse, Stanley's Parable, or Pizza Tower. Probably Pizza Tower is the best game out of those. Don't you need friends for Ultimate Chicken Horse? That's kind of a big stipulation, right? And then like a game that you want friends for. As somebody who has played only Stanley's Parable, you, you won't get much out of Stanley's Parable. I mean, you, if you watch somebody play it, if you watch my playthrough or any other's playthrough, you saw the whole game. But if you haven't, if you haven't seen Stanley's Parable, then Stanley's Parable, like the remaster Stanley Parable, is pretty good. But, like, probably Pizza Tower is the most real game out of all those, right? That's, like, the real game. 
I haven't seen a Stanley yet. It's a one-time experience, though. Like, you're not going to come back to whatever, but it is pretty good. I wasn't mad about paying for it. I was like, that was good. That was quality. You got to play the new one, though. Like, the, the, not the old Stanley Parable. You got to play the Stanley Parable, like, super-duper upgrade version. Because it added, like, six hours of gameplay. And, you know, gameplay in regards to Stanley Parable is in air quotes, but... It's got more capital C content. Want something replayable? Yeah, something replayable is probably good if you're on a budget. It was funny at Summer Game Fest to see Jeff go, these are the most ex the most famous games on Steam are all by indie devs. And then one of the pictures he showed was the stupid like AI-generated cover art for this game. Like I really, I really wish the Supermarket Simulator didn't have AI-generated cover art, so Jeff didn't have to put that in his presentation. But it was funny. I think you get one of those Total Wars. Total Wars, there's probably like an old Total War. It costs $1 if you're interested in Total War franchise. You can get one of those. Just get a, just buy a Sassy Creed. Screw it. If you want to play some crap for 100 hours, just buy a Sassy Creed. I bought a Shadow of War because, like I've been saying for years, longtime followers of Oboshu's games know that I've been saying for years that I will only buy Shadow of War when it is less than $5, and lo and behold, when the sale went live, for the first time ever, it was $3, so I bought it. I finally bought Middle Earth Shadow of War. I waited like five years for it to be cheaper than five bucks, and it finally was. Should I play that? Is that a good game to stream? If It looks like a sassy creed. I mean, I played the first one. The first one was pretty good, but I feel like you just run around and do sassy greed stuff. It seems like a mindless grind, which is kind of boring, unlike this, which is a very intellectual grind. I guess it, I guess it has, like, the orc system, right? The orcs are like, oh, I'm going nemesis, mate. Oh, <laughs> I guess it has that, right? That's, like, the main feature. Yeah, it will be fun. Okay, maybe I'll stream some of it. We'll see how it goes. I'm not going to play the whole thing, though. Because the, the whole thing for that game is, like, didn't they make the end game unnecessarily long? And then you can, like, buy microtransactions from the loot goblin to make it go faster. Didn't that happen? And all you get is, like, a cutscene. I remember that controversy. Been playing Slay the Princess. Yeah, that one looks interesting. That's an interesting-looking game. Depending on the discount for that one. I might check that one out. Why do you call Assassin's Creed Sassy Creed? Because you either call Assassin's Creed Ass Creed or Sassy Creed, and I prefer Sassy Creed. I think Sassy Creed is more fun to say. There's only two proper names for that franchise, and they're both not the proper name for that franchise. The white tile clashes with the white walls. I think the issue is that this is not white. I think the issue is that, like, that looks fine to me. To me, the pure white tile and the pure white wall looks fine. But that, this off-white weird color back here, maybe it's because there's no light. If I move a light there, will it get fixed? Now, it's still like an off-white color. It's still a weird, like, cream color. Hmm. It's still not that bright white that we all know and love. I don't know. Just a lighting glitch, I suppose. My grocery store got glinched? In the outer dimension? Played Shadow of War like three times. Oh my god, you liked it a lot. It's a fun sandbox, but it's too long. Yeah, it's too long. That's the issue. The issue is it's too long. The first one was nice and short. The first one took like 20 hours to 100%, which was shocking. It was like, I can I can do a whole Sassy Creed in less than an entire day of playtime. Is that allowed? Can they even make this? But they did it, and it was pretty good. I call the series Assassin's Creed. Yeah, you're doing it wrong. It's called Ass Creed or Sassy Creed. You gotta choose one. Choose your team. Bet you feel real foolish. I've been calling it by its actual name this whole time when I could have been using a joke name. Ah, oh, man. What was I thinking?
They're giving me too much content for my money. Yeah, they are. It's true. If they're padding, if they're padding their game with a bunch of crap nobody wants, I would rather that does not be in there. I mean, I guess some people want it. I guess there's always somebody who's gonna 100% every sassy creed. But stop. <laughs> the person who's doing that should stop doing that. I am the arbiter of what is allowed to be fun. I like odds because it was short. Odsta, it was it was not even that short, honestly. Halo 3 campaign is a little bit longer, but it's not that much longer. Odsta feels both shorter and longer than it actually is at the same time, because the whole game's in one environment. Bro, you call it Call of Duty, even fish? That's true. I do say Call of Duty more than COD. I do say Call of Duty full name. All right, all right, hey, hey, speaking of Call of Duty, let me let me run something past you real quick. As the store comes winding to a close and this day comes winding down, I'm going to give you a homework assignment. So I thought of this the other day when the stream was over. So I'm going to I'm going to throw it out there and then somebody else can uh, finish it. Just well, nobody finished the misery business. So maybe nobody will finish it. But here, here we go. Ready? Call your Harriers. I'm a tuber, baby. So rage quit the lobby. It's like it's like a Modern Warfare 2 Beck. So that is maybe something. I don't know. <laughs> Somebody make that into something, please. I can make it into something, but I don't know. I don't know if it has that much potential. In the year of 2009, I was in a lobby. Yeah, maybe. It's possible. I like having someone here where I can disagree with virtually everything they say. What, someone in chat? You disagree with someone in chat? I mean, I disagree with a lot of things people say in chat. I just don't, uh... I need, I need people to subscribe to my Patreon. So I go, oh, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Every single time I've ever said, mm-hmm, I was lying. I actually believe the opposite of every single thing I've ever said. It's all been one genius ruse. Just drop him in the think tank. I mean, I don't think it's even think tank worthy. It's like one line. I don't know if a Modern Warfare 2 parody is even worth doing. The reason it's not worth doing is I don't know how to use machinima tools for Modern Warfare 2 if I did. If I knew how to like toggle free cam in Modern Warfare 2 campaign, Modern Warfare 2 the musical would already have been made, but I don't know how to do that. Maybe maybe Speed can help me. Maybe he can help me do that. Oh, he made the... He, I gotta play his rooftop remastered. I got so much stuff to do. I'm so busy. I, ha, I have so much stuff on my gaming content plate, and yeah, I just played Walmart Sim for hours and hours. What a waste of my time, but I do gotta make the store sign correct. It's been bothering me this entire time. Where's the button? It's not that one. There it is. Please make the background the right color. Make it blue. That's like a Toys R Us blue. Yeah, that's more of a Walmart blue. Perfect. $250 well spent. You can sit on that idea. They they're probably going to remake Modern Warfare 2 a few more times. Yeah, next time they remake Modern Warfare 2, I'll make that. Or maybe it should be maybe it should be Eminem because Eminem was the uh, the Modern Warfare Two trailer. Hmm. All right. Well, now I'm gonna go make a Modern Warfare Two. It's red again. It doesn't work. Glitch. 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 That glitch is ruining my life. Also, these customers can't check out. Also, I got to go make Modern Warfare Two the musical now, which will be pretty fun. So stay tuned for that one. Are you a blockbuster now? <laughs> I'm a grocery rental. The world's first. Grocery rental service. Should be Avenged Sevenfold? No, if it, was, if it was Black Ops the musical, it would be Avenged Sevenfold. But they were in Black Ops, not Modern Warfare. All right, well, I'm going to go make Captain Price AI sing hilarious songs. So tune in next time for more. Hopefully the sign will be the proper color gameplay. <laughs>